Hi, let's take a look at a few new Arch features that will improve your workflow. Starting with the setup section on the master unit, page 2, follow slider scroll, which I like to leave on, allows me to see my fader position when I navigate my channel using the channel strip. Channel select, which I also like to have turned on. Channel Select allows me to select a channel and highlight it on my mixer window when I touch a fader. And third is Other, which I like to leave on Mid, which allows me to uh, temporarily use the zoom if I want to use it and release it, or latch it on. Now let's take a look at how to reset a fader to 0 dB. A channel with no volume written automation can be reset by pressing and holding the control button and quickly push the fader up or down, just like that. If you want to reset multiple fader at the same time, you can disable the global automation over here and then reset the faders. Now let's take a look at the master unit touchscreen EQ section. You can use your finger to draw an EQ by pressing and holding the shift button you'll be able to cue whatever section you are touching. By pressing and holding the alt button you'll be able to move a section of the EQ from left to right without changing the parameter value. You can easily write volume automation from the touch screen by pushing the tab on the upper right corner, activate the read and write functions, and control the volume. You can reset any parameter of the touch screen by pressing and holding the control button and tap on the encoders below to reset any parameter, including volume. Now let's take a look at the channel visibility section on the right side of the mixer window of the fader unit. You can see the list of all the channels of your project including folder tracks represented by a triangle. You can hide or show any channel or channels inside a folder track by using the enter button on the fader unit. To only show one channel or channels inside a folder track, press and hold the shift button and push the enter button. On the fader unit, you can save and recall up to eight different combinations of channels. You can quickly select a channel type by pressing and holding the control button, and then select any other additional channel type. Press and hold any of the four channel view button to save your configuration. To recall all channel types, press and hold the Alt button and push any channel type button. You can save, recall any combination of linked or locked channel as well as channel agents such as playing channels, channels inside the locator, or any selected channels. Finally, you can sync the project window with a mixer window in the visibility tab of the inspector under sync visibility, sync project, and nuage. You can then quickly display one or several selected channels on both the mixer and project window.